reporting for Katie Chats here at the Canadian TIFF press conference in downtown Toronto with Devry Jacob. Tell me a little bit about how you got the role in your film. Um, well, the casting director, Renee Haynes, put out a nationwide search uh, for this character, Ayla, who's a 14-year-old Mi'kmaq girl who's um, essentially who plays the lead in the film. But um, throughout the entire film, I I just figured, I didn't really think that I would get a, I'd get a call back or anything like that. It was just a self-tape that I sent off and I so happened to uh, be chosen and I was put on the short list and next thing you know I'm chosen as the lead in a feature and it's it's just been really mind-boggling because I'm I'm a small town girl from a little little res right outside of Montreal so it's just been kind of essentially a dream come true. What's at the heart of the story? Um, the heart of the story, although the entire story is really dark, it involves a lot of um, I guess you can say it involves a lot of dark content like residential school, alcoholism, suicide, etc, etc. But although there's a lot of dark content, it involves, I guess the character, even though my character can be viewed as a hero, anti-hero, um, she still has a strong sense of morals and family is most important and there's really a strong sense of uh, what it means to be Nguanhui, what it means to be First Nations. What was your acting process like? How did you prepare for the role? Um, well, my co-star Roseanne Superno, who has been featured on shows like Blackstone and, and different things like that, she's, uh, she has a lot of experience within the industry and I kind of um, looked, her, looked at her as a mentor and she helped me out through the process, but it was a lot of um, searching within myself and looking within the history and um, studying the history of residential school and, and different nations within the 70s and I guess all of that came together and it was just so many different levels that uh, it, it was really hard but once I got on set it just all came together and it, it came out. And what are you most looking forward to for TIFF 2013? What am I most looking forward to? Well firstly I'd like to see the final product yeah. <laughs> but I'm just excited to uh, to be here and I've never been to a film festival before so just seeing how everything works and to see the film come to life to see what we've been working on for such a long time to be uh, shown to everyone and for Canadians to see the message that Jeff Barnaby and hopefully all all of us have been conjuring up um, I'm just excited to see it all well thank you so much congratulations and have an amazing time here at the festival thanks for having me thank you I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie chats here at the Canadian TIFF press conference in downtown Toronto.